Hi everyone, I'm Dina and I'm an art director, designer, and content creator here on YouTube. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my process on how I'll be redesigning the brand Volvo, which is a car manufacturing company from Sweden. And big thank you to Envato Elements for bringing me back on the channel to do yet another redesign video. If you haven't watched the first one I did on this channel, it was me redesigning Celsius, the energy drink. So go watch that if you haven't yet and then come back to this one. Also, as a quick note, all of the creative assets that I'll be using in this video from fonts, photos, and mockups are from Envato Elements, which is a creative marketplace that has unlimited, like literally millions of like creative assets from like fonts, photos, templates, and so much more. All right, before we start designing, let's get to know the Volvo brand and history. First, let's start off with the name itself, Volvo. The word Volvo is actually the first person singular form of the Latin word volvere, which is a verb that means to roll. Now, over the last century, Volvo has been through a handful of logo changes, so let's look into their logo history. So let's start off with the first ever Volvo logo, which lasted about three years from 1927 to 1930. It's got this blue oval shape with this like orange tan stroke around it. Logo type is in a thick, bold serif font with really tightly kerned letters that bleed into one another. Then they have this ribbon underneath the logo type of where the company was created in the sans serif typeface. Now the second logo looked completely different from the first one and there's a lot of things going on here. Firstly is the circle and arrow symbol which they have kept in their logo today, but it represents a few different things. First, you may have noticed it looks synonymous to the male gender symbol, but Volvo's logo was not intended for that meaning. The emblem is actually representative of the ancient alchemy mark of iron. Secondly, it's also associated with the shield and spear of the Roman god of war, Mars. The next element they added in this logo was this tilted shape with slits from the left end, which seemed to signify speed and quality engineering. Now from 1959 through 1970, they introduced two versions of their logos and switched the colors to just being blue and white. This first one is where they got rid of the tilted stripe in the previous logo and centered the Volvo wordmark. And then the second version is just a wordmark, so there's no circle and arrow symbol, which is intended to be used more for like official documentations, ads, labels, etc. There was also another logo that was introduced during this time period from 1965 to 1970. It still has a circle and arrow symbol, but they filled in the circle shape and it seems like they changed to a sans serif typeface and also seems to have introduced a gray shield-like icon. The next logo update was from 1970 to 1999, but you can see they went back to that slab serif typeface expanded the logo type outside of the circle, and rounded off the edges. In 1999, the logo got quite the makeover and was designed to look a lot more realistic and three-dimensional with the silver metallic ring to show that strength and durability, while the darkened blue gives a more sophisticated, trustworthy, and reliable look. From 2013 to 2014, the metallic parts of the circle and arrow symbol was changed to look a lot like glass, and the rectangle in the middle also has a silver border, but this logo only lasted for about a year. After that previous logo, they changed back to the ring and arrow symbol to look more metallic and simplified the logo a bit more. They also reduced the size of the rectangular shape and the work mark in the middle to fit inside of the inner circle. In 2020, they introduced a logo version with just their word mark in all black, but the letters are much more spaced out which they use for more official documentation and marketing collateral. And lastly, we fast forward to today, with their logo mark being simplified even more by getting rid of the blue and silver metallic colors, and now just sticking with black. They also got rid of the rectangular shape inside the circle and created space around the arrow instead of connecting it to the circle. If we take a look at how they're currently branding themselves specifically on their website, you can see that they're definitely leaning more into the luxurious and electric car space. Even on their website, they state that they plan to be fully electric by 2030 because they're heavily focused on being a sustainable and climate neutral brand. With this context, I got some logo ideas that I want to start sketching out with pencil and paper. First, I'm going to lay out some squares on the grid so that I can contain each logo idea in its own box. Also, I'm going to put a number by each box to stay organized. Going into it, I was thinking about a way to integrate all the letters as one emblem. And then as I was getting further into it, I was exploring different ways to integrate the letter V with other shapes like circles and triangles. Then 
I shifted to other ways I can integrate the arrow symbol to really keep the integrity of the circle and arrow sign. Now we've got one page filled with 15 sketches. We're gonna keep going because what I found is that usually your first few ideas are your bad ideas or just surface level ideas. And you can only get to your really good ideas as you dig deeper into it and find more creative solutions. There's a few more ideas that I want to explore, so we're going to do another page of sketches and see where those lead to. I thought about some ways to incorporate the shape of a shield with the letter V to tie back to Mars, the god of war. Then I got inspired by the way this letter V was looking with the curved edges because it gives off a very sustainable and sophisticated look, which is the tone that we're trying to achieve. So I sketched out some different iterations for this particular V shape. Awesome. I think we've got a good amount of logos to work with now, 45 sketches to be exact. Now let's go on Envato Elements to explore some text and font options that we can possibly use. got a handful of fonts, I'm going to download them and start laying them out on an artboard in Adobe Illustrator. I think we have about 23 fonts to go through here, but this will give me a better bird's eye view of how each font would look for the brand. I think I'm really leaning towards font 10 and 15 the most, but the V in font 10 kind of looks like a U, so it's kind of throwing me off a little bit, which is why I feel like I'm leaning more towards font 15. I also think we can make some tweaks to the font to make it a bit more custom and unique. So we're going to round off some of the corners in both of the fonts here to give it a more friendly and sustainable look.
I'm liking how the customized fonts are looking. Now I want to work on the emblem or logo mark of the Volvo brand. This is where our sketches from earlier come in. I scanned them using the Adobe Scan app and am placing the images in Illustrator to get an overview of all the sketches that we have on hand. There's a few marks that I'm particularly interested in exploring more of, which I've started to kind of highlight here. I do want to keep the integrity of the brand's meaning with the circle and arrow symbol, which is why the ones I'm most interested in is probably number 41 and 42, which are pretty similar, except the main difference is that one is outlined and the other is filled in. I like this mark the most because I've incorporated the letter V from the custom font we made earlier, and we have that circle shape integrated in a unique way where it kind of gets cut off from the top of the V on the right side. The reason for doing that is because that small tip of the V signifies the tip of the arrow. So it's kind of like a nice subtle nod to the circle and arrow symbol that they've kept up throughout the years. I like where this direction is going, but I want to see if I can tweak that arrow tip to show more since it appears a little bit too small. And my concern is that it'll get lost when it gets scaled down. So we're gonna keep experimenting with the placement of the circle to see how we can bring it down to show more of that V tip. All right, now we get to exploring colors. I still do want to keep the integrity of that blue slash silver steel color that they had in the past, but maybe just a different shade or tone of it. And we could possibly introduce an accent color like yellow, which also would tie back to their Swedish roots. So I really like using colors.co because you can generate your own palettes or explore current ones that are on the website. So it kind of makes your life a little bit easier but I was just experimenting with the colors that were already on there and then adding some of my own. Now that we've got a color palette, it's time to start the color applications to make sure the colors pair well together. So the yellow doesn't quite work as well on the gray or white background. So we're probably just gonna get rid of the yellow altogether and just stick with that royal navy blue and that silver gray color. Now that we've got the logo, fonts, and color palette, it's time to start mocking it up on lifestyle photos and cars. For this, I'm going back on Involve Elements to source through their photo library and trying to find lifestyle photography of people driving along with interior and exterior shots of cars. It took me some time to find decent photos here because I was looking for a balance of like generic looking cars without branding and clean photos that kind of match that luxurious, safe and subtle aesthetic of the brand.
The last thing I'm doing is downloading a few more different types of mockups from Envato Elements to show other ways to display the logo design. The thing I really love about these mockups is that it's so easy and looks super high quality and realistic. Like all you have to do is double click into the layer design file, drag your logo in it, save, and then go back to the original file. And it just quickly updates and mocks up your new logo effortlessly. That looks so real if you ask me. And it's just crazy how endless the possibilities are and what you can do with the creative assets from Envato Elements. That's all I'm saying. All right, I think I've got all my final files and mockups finished. Here's how everything looks. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this logo redesign for the Volvo brand. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also find me on social media at DinoWinCom. Other than that, I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.